bitch. Hey, <laughs> Kung Lao wristbands looking like a hitman, but a nigga trying to hit a lit man. Mm. Took her to the bathroom, fuck it through the zip man. Left her leg shaking like the crib dance. Mm. Who the hat the front don't think that that's a crib man? Pay that man a total no tip man. Mm. Back it out. Oh my goodness, welcome back everybody to the channel. It's your host of the most time, boy. Everyone keep watching Time Boy TV. Holy shit, feels so good to finally be back. I know currently this doesn't make sense for me to be back in my cribbo, but this is a green screen behind me. You know, none of this shit is actually real. Uh, I'm not actually home. I'm currently in Europe right now. As you saw in my previous video, I was in Croatia. I was exposing all the fugas, fake head asses all over there. But today we got Supreme Week 2, Fall Winter 18. Damn, feels so weird saying that. Finally, it's the first retail resale estimations episode that I have for you guys because last week, uh, it was just long story short, shitty ass Wi Fi could not make it work. But, anyways, this week we got shit highlighted by the pretty much the keychain and the ladder and a hoodie. But that's about it. Nothing crazy going down. But, anyways, this still got retail resales for you. So, you cannot tell me I'm a bit sick, a little bit sick. But, as my disclaimer as always, if you're from StockX, welcome. Appreciate y'all. Not really from StockX uh, corporate, but you know, like kids who just go straight to resell. Remember, think about how setting your highest bids and shit. StockX is a great platform, but people would just be ruining it because they'd be just stupid. More like kids of SS18. Anyways, also make sure to comment, subscribe if you guys want that good luck, that good blessing, that good ass karma. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I want to know, seriously, I really want to know what you guys are going for. So let me know down below because I'm just confused at what everyone's trying to cop. But you know how we do this. We go from least type to most type, then least resale to most resale. So excited to do this. I got my kids tee on, as you can see right here. You know that it's an OG. Jesus Christ, what happened on the back? Y'all cannot see it right now. But just know I got that shit on deck. All right, so first, as you know, we normally do hats because they're just most of the time bricks. So first up, we got the Vampire 6 panel. Retails going to be $48, and in euros, it's going to be around $46. Not a great tee to, not, not a great item to go for in general. Um, probably, it's not, like, I'm not feeling it at all, it has, like, a vampire patch on the front with Supreme Run under it, different colors, including, like, a teal, navy, white, burgundy, yellow, and another dark color, oh, black, I could not tell exactly what these shades on, you know, but this is original artwork by Mike Hill, he is known to be collaborating with Supreme previously, next, we'll move on to the Preach Mesh Back 5 panel, Supreme really hasn't done one of these messages on top of their hats in a really long time, this is the first time in a fat minute, but retail on this is going to be a little bit less than the previous hat. This is going to be 40 US dollars because of the fact that it's going to be made out of a cheaper, foamy type of material. Uh, pretty much the message says it's an uh, excerpt from the Bible. If you're religious, I guess this hat's for you. If you're not, then not so much. Next, I'll be going to the global five panel cap. This will be dropping in green, black, yellow, perp. Dirty perp. Perp has been the color of the season. Last season was red. Sorry for interruption. The last season was red. This season it's purple, so perp is the color to go for. And then we got another black item, uh, another black color of the hat, the white, and then a uh, red bur burgundy type color mix. Retail on this is going to be $44. Again, not a great item to go for resale wise. But again, as always, as I always say, you know, if you guys like the item for the personal, it's a great item to cop for. It's not always about resale. But again, if this is for the money situation, easy item to pass on next move on to the cargo pant as you know pants really aren't that much of a heater or uh, a nice item to go for retail is again going to be $158 just to think that these pants cost as much as a hoodie or literally shoes you can buy air Jordan ones for retail at $160 kind of crazy you know supreme has been known for their pants to be for insane insane prices but what I, I'm gonna say I really like this type of camo pants that they have I don't have the full pant pant and camo I usually just see I got the short crop version but the full cargo pant is a fire pant but just retail price is not there for me another type of pant that they're gonna be have releasing this week is the velour track top retail will be $128 and blue dropping in three colorways navy pink and black now, those three colorways are going to be, again, a great item to not go for. It's going to be an easy pass. Shout out to all my Jersey boys. Y'all get the reference. But definitely, no. No, res no resale there. And again, as you can tell, on sub community, shout out to them. They've been posting my fit pics up on the gram. But they know all the dislikes has just been hella, hella negative. But some item to match that vampire hat. You got the vampire denim zip-up shirt. All cotton denim. Original artwork by Mike, Mike Hill again. So I guess this is a Mike Hill collaboration once again. They got a few items dropping. Now this is the second item this week to be dropping with the artist. Previously, 
he did do this t-shirt right here if y'all can see let me grab it for you all real quick a little history lesson for all y'all new kids this is our previous Mike Hill collab T, as you can see on the back, says Mike Hill signature. Of course, this T was somewhat better. Uh, it wasn't a crazy hype T, but it's still a nice piece. Next up, as another brick of the of the week, is the Diamond and Rayon Bomber jacket. Now, retails. The thing I'm gonna say about the retails this season is that Supreme. They're starting to scare me with the retails they've been producing. Like rumored retail on the teddy bear is three hundred dollars. This ladder, and I'm gonna mention, but it's in two hundred twenty-eight dollars. Now this bomber jacket, a simple ass bomber jacket, $188. Alright, we'll talk, that's the bomber jacket, right? They're gonna be a brick, but if you like, as always, cop for yourself. Only dropping two colorways back in black. Another insane, absolutely insane retail for this week. It's this dumbass cashmere motherfucking sweater, bro. All cashmere, $248. Shit, that got me more sick just saying that. I do not understand why it's so pricey, but maybe someone can inform me in the comments down below by dropping in four colorways, including a blue, red, black, and neon green. Definitely, please, if you're going to go for any of these, go for a nice subtle color like red or blue. Definitely, please don't go for the neon green. Ah, uh, please just don't. Next, another item to would be nice to miss on if you're going to try and go for resale is a leather trucker jacket. Hella dislikes and retail on this expect to be around $400. It is looks like it's going to be nice quality. It's going to be one of those high, high quality items. But of course, you have to pay the price for that. Uh, a lot of dislikes, but it's a leather with your car logo, viscose lining, and snap front closure. Hand pockets at lower front and chest pockets with snap closures. So let me know if you're going to go for that item. Because if you are... I just want to know what fit you're going to be rocking with this. Now, another item that we go on to that will not be doing great either and has a pretty high retail is the OMT. OM, yes, the OMT. Uh, drop it only in two colorways though, which is like the. It reminds me of the vintage. They're trying to bring back a vintage feel on this type of t shirt. They are like, it a vintage like rock tee. This is going to be. It's like a beige with the black hints on it. The, all over the front, can't tell what it is, but some artwork. And again, on the pink as well, it's the same thing. Now, to match with the velour pants I mentioned previously, they're going to be dropping a velour track jacket. It's a cotton blend velour with contrast panels and piping. Full zip closure on the front with hand pockets at lower front and embroidered logo on sleeves. So the embroidered logo is fire. It's like one of the compact classic logos that they've had. Again, though, this item, easy pass, another item to pass on. I like the velour. I just don't like velour in general. Uh, I got... People were kind of me in my previous video from last season when I was talking about lore. That's just my opinion. Now, whatever y'all got to say, y'all got to say. Y'all can keep it to yourselves. Now, we forgot to mention, actually, I forgot to mention two of the beanies that they're going to be dropping. It's the crown logo beanie number one. Now, I really like this design. Am I going to be going for this item? Unfortunately, no. But for the retail $32, it's a pretty nice beanie. But, you know, I'm, I just don't rock beanies personally, and I'm not trying to go for resale this week. Another item that's going to be dropping is a studded beanie. Nice, big-ass branding. But beanies have not just been doing well recently, especially with this hot, hot, hot-ass weather. And it's still fall, winter, but it's just too fucking hot out here. So those are the two beanies, both retail. Actually, Crown Logo, 32 Studded beanies, $36. And now move on to somewhat of the better items. First, we got the Split Logo SS Top. Now, this is going to be dropping in a range of colors, including... Uh, yellow on blue, white on black, brown on navy, green on pink, and burgundy-ish type on orange. So, what I gotta say, great t-shirt, it's gonna be one of those high quality items again. For $88, that's the t-shirt, not the $36 t-shirt, or the $44 t-shirts, but this is the $88 tee. All cotton jersey, I really like this t-shirt, I'm not gonna front with y'all. Uh, especially the yellow on blue colorway is very nice, and the white on black. Nice, it's a very subtle Supreme branding. It says New York under it, Supreme New York. Or no, yeah, actually, um, mistake, mistake, mistake. It says Supreme established 1994. They haven't been saying New York that much because they're absolutely going global. Oh, look at this, I forgot. We got the military cam cap. I forgot to even mention this before. Now, definitely go for that camo colorway. Now, the camo colorway. Now, what's surprising is that the camo hats from last week didn't aren't doing that well either. But I feel like they're bound to go up because they're just the they're the best cam caps to go for if you're gonna go for a cam cap. Camo always does the best, better than the subtle like straight normal as colorways. 
Next, we move on to the vertical logo striped long sleeve top. Now, what I was saying on my Instagram, if you guys haven't checked out, make sure to go follow that at Thomas Vertical and at iHype underscore NJ. This this long sleeve is looking hella hella clean. It's an all cotton heavyweight jersey. Not really sure why they call it a jersey, but it's an all cotton. Ninety eight dollars is expected retail. Resale on this is expected to be around one hundred and ten, one hundred twenty dollars, depending on where you live and shipping and tax. You might not be worth it for you, but if you're going in store like I am, shout out Dover Street Market. I'll, I will be there. Let me know if you will be too. But yes, definitely don't definitely go for this item. But I think it's a nice item to go for. Resale, of course, is not going to be crazy like some crazy shit. But next, move on to the vampire hooded sweatshirt. This will, of course, match that hat that I talked about previously, one of the first items I talked about. Now, this design, as I said before, I'm not really feeling it, but it's a heavyweight cotton cross grain fleece with an embroidered graphic, original artwork, again, by Mike Hill. If you're an avid Mike Hill fan, definitely an item for you, I'm assuming, because you know you're a fan of Mike Hill, my man. But not me, so it's going to be a pass for me once again. And now we finally head into the four final and most hyped items of the whole freaking goddamn week to a fall winter 18. We got the tricolor hooded sweatshirt first for $158. This reminds me of a, of a different type of hoodie that they dropped two seasons ago. Kind of similar, but with the old English font on it, but it was a lot bigger and it was only two colors split down the middle. If y'all remember that, crazy hyped item. That's why I'm thinking this item will do well, but it will most likely not. But I just want to say I really am feeling this, this jacket, especially the Gucci, Gucci, Gucci type, Goosey type colorway with the green and navy and burgundy. Not really the Gucci colorway, but it's kind of somewhat close, but not exactly. And then, of course, the second favorite colorway of mine is the brown with black and blue. Now, the unseen item of this week is a phone booth keychain for $14. I'm highly, this might end up being the most hyped and most profitable item out of this week. If it's actually like this mock up right here, if I have it up, you can check it out on my Instagram, at hype underscore NJ. If it is, it's definitely going to be an item that everyone's going to be wanting to go for. Uh, if not, then we'll just have to see what the design is looking like. But next, we move on to the Supreme collab with Nike. Nike will be dropping the SB Gato. Y'all finna be clowning me again in the comments. This is the Gato. I think it's cat in Spanish. Um, I somewhat pass Spanish. But this is the SB. A lot of people are not feeling these. I honestly have no idea why. I kind of think they're a nice, subtle little flex. But, you know, all these hype beasts out here just trying to get some Air Force Ones with some big-ass branding. I mean, I would like that shit too. But this is still nice. I don't know why everyone's hating on it. Especially the, bl the black colorway is nice. I just don't like the pink. But if I would have to choose, I would most likely cop the white colorway because it's red on white, and that's easily the most profitable item to go for. Well, most profitable colorway to go for, not item, for $110. Great retail. And now we're on to the two most hyped items is the Water Arc Hooded Sweatshirt. This is the item to go for if you're going to go for any item. Go for the green one or the white one, and this retail will be $158, and go for a size small. Size small hoodie, and if you could sell it straight right away, as soon as drop the ends, hit up Grailed, eBay, and of course, I guess if you want StockX, and you would definitely have an easy sell like that. If not, if you're going to sit on your item, then you just have to deal with the consequences. And finally, we want to the Supreme Locano Step Ladder, <coughs> and it shocked the world by having them have a retail of $228. I'm getting used to this, this setup right here. Sorry if there was a lot of room out here, but I'm trying to get this new angle set up. And so $228. Resale will not be there. I don't think in any way it'll be close to what people were expecting. I thought retail was going to be around $100. As you can see by this video, that someone has it in hand and early. So sorry if I spoke a little bit too fast, but you know the top item to go for is that hoodie. Uh, Keychain. And I'd say that's call it a day. Not a great item. Save up your money because next up, we got that CDG BOGO week. And then we'll see what the rest of the week brings. I right, thank you guys for watching. Comment, subscribe, and of course, smash that like button. Thank you. Let me know what you guys are going for again. Peace.